Looking into the performance on Geekbench 3 first 2-bit, the base Mac Pro was about the same speed as the MacBook Pro I was using. Upgrading to the 6-core unit yielded about twice the multi-core score, which is about the same level as the mid-2017 i5 iMac. Over to Synbench, the score of the base Mac Pro actually beat out the MacBook Pro, but the upgrade Mac Pro yielded an extra 50-70% on top of that. 70 frames a second is actually number one on the list better than a Quadro K4000M. It's just under an i7-4770K and above the 3770K. And the best part about this experience is just have a listen. This is how quiet the system is running. And for comparison, this is how the Synology is sounding. The MacBook Pro couldn't be touched on the read and write speeds even when using a PCIe SSD. Interestingly enough, I didn't notice any real-world performance differences using a PCIe SSD over a SATA 2 SSD. Even though the MacBook Pro had a much faster SSD performance according to Blackmagic speed test, launching Final Cut Pro in Photoshop was actually faster on the upgraded Mac Pro which is something worth paying attention to, as it's not just about transfer speeds. File seek speeds is usually more important, as apps tend to require lots of different files on launch rather than reading one big file read fast. 4K playback of projects using custom titles still skips the frames until background rendering was used, which is something even the iMac Pro suffers from. Scrubbing 4K footage sourced on my local NAS was much faster on the upgraded version. Bruce X5K export was three times faster than my MacBook Pro. However, one thing that was actually slower by a large margin was video encoding, especially when using non-standard codecs. That being said, background processing was a lot faster, almost iMac Pro level fast, and using the editor was a lot smoother. So I'm moving this, and it's pretty snappy. Compiling code was much faster, and even using the Mac Pro on its default 802.11n and not AC Wi-Fi, YouTube finally played back to 4K at 2K speeds without constantly buffering. Playing Windows games on Parallels, which is a virtual machine emulator, at 1080p went from 15 frames a second to 29 frames. And when gaming on Windows directly, it was a night and day difference. Can't even handle the menu screens. <laughs> One of the coolest things I found was you can actually mine crypto coins in the background and still hit 30 frames a second. Run straight and then get X, 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 X. Woo! <laughs>